The Zeehan community was out in force to witness 13 of their own talk live via VHF radio to the crew travelling at 27,000 kilometres an hour, 380 kilometres above the earth. Hi, my name is Tahana. What for you is the most anxious part of space travel? Lift off or entering the Earth's atmosphere? Over. Hello, Tahana. Uh, the, I think the most anxious part is the lift off because that's where the forces are the greatest. Uh, the, uh, there's a, a tremendous amount of power uh, being put forth by the, uh, by the engines and the space shuttle. What happens if something goes wrong and you need to evacuate the International Space Station? Hello, Thomas. If something goes wrong, uh, we have the uh, Russian Soyuz spacecraft uh, attached, and so our crew would jump into that Soyuz and we would uh, undock from the space station and come home in that. Over. The students have been tracking the space station, studying space and the solar system, and more recently communications technology, leaving them well prepared for the big day. They've been very excited for, for days and days, and as, as today has been getting closer and closer, they've, they've almost been bursting. It's been tremendous to watch. The event made possible through the efforts of local radio enthusiasts and their successful application to a body called Amateur Radio on International Space Station. And then I guess the hard work started because uh, there was a fair amount of work involved in actually building the antenna systems, uh, getting all the equipment prepared and um, just making sure that everything worked on the day, as it did. We wish you well and we will be watching with interest your return to Earth. This is VK7KHZ out. Stephen Pink, 6 o'clock, local news.